I can just start to see people joining. A very good afternoon to you this Tuesday afternoon. Hope you're having a good day and early start to the week. I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join. But do tell me where you're tuning in from. Hello. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Very warm welcome. Do just give me a heart if you can hear me okay and if you can see me okay. I'm not seeing comments come up. Oh, I can see a heart but I'm not seeing comments. Maybe let me know where you're, where you're tuning in from and then I can just check that the comments are working. So I can see lots of hearts but no comments which I do need to see. Let's just see. No. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, London. Hi, Sophie. Okay, we're, I think we're working. Sorry, it took a little while for the system to kick off, but I think we're there. So happy um, Tuesday to you. I hope you're having a great week. If you have children, I hope they're now all back at school. I am delighted. I can't tell you what the last six weeks have been like. Anyway, um, what a joy. I'm in East London. Utah, Ginny in from London. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We've got a cracker of a show today. Um, I have been waiting for this moment for a mere two years because we're launching a new product, which you'll have seen um, a little bit about over the last week. Um, here it is. It's called See to Believe. Um, and we're going to be talking all about this beautiful new moisturizer. It's a vitamin C brightening moisturizer. And I'm going to treat you all to a live demo and I'm going to be doing a little brightening routine. It's a four step routine, super simple to do. I would tend to do this at the weekend. It's a lovely evening routine, but I'm going to do it live so you can join in with me if you have any of these products at home. Um, a little bit about how this works. I think hopefully some of you will have done this before, but you can just let, leave us a comment. Um, we have Kate in the wings. So many of you will know Kate because she does many of these live shows. She's a total dab hand. Um, Kate, give us a wave. Um, and she's going to be in the wings to help me answer the questions because I tend to not be able to get to all of them, though I do try very hard. Hi, Kate. I hope you're really well. So what else do I need to say? We've got a special offer today. Um, it is this. So let me just get it for you for my little stash here. So we're giving away um, a light work cleansing oil. It looks like this. Um, we were debating just earlier with the team about how long that lasts. We think it, you could get almost two weeks use out of that. It's brilliant for travel. I've just been in the States and I took one of these with me and it was brilliant, super light to carry. So this is our, our light work cleansing oil and I'm going to be demoing this as well. So there we go. But we're here to talk about the moisturiser. Um, anything I've missed, Kate, give me a shout. Um, hello, hello, hello. I'm just going to say a few hellos. Hello from the USA. Is there a story on the name, Sophie? Yes, there is. Should we start there? Should we start? So this is this is Cedar Believe. And I'm going to tell you the story of the name, but I'm also going to tell you the story of this little picture. Because every Pi product has a story, because we make them all here. So I'm in Pi HQ this evening. I'm in what we call our living room. It's a very cute room with sofas and all sorts. And um, yes, and so all the products are conceived under this very roof and manufactured under this very roof. Um, so I'm going to tell you all about that. A little bit about what it is. So who give me a shout if you bought it, tried it, love it. Um, so send me some hearts if you have or, or, or put in your comments. But this is a vitamin C brightening moisturiser. So this is going to be all about if you've got dull skin, it's going to brighten your skin, it's going to even out skin tone, um, and it's also great for hyperpigmentation. So if you suffer with that, vitamin C is a great ingredient ally to have in your armory. So um, that's what it's all about. Why did we make this product? And I'm coming on to the name, Sophie, I promise. We made this product because so many of you um, contact us all the time about vitamin C. And so many of you say that you've had either a really bad experience with it in the past, or you really feel like you're at maybe an age or a stage in your life that you feel like you need to be introducing some actives, that you're really terrified. And I get that because as some of you will know, I'm a chronic urticaria sufferer. Give me a shout if you even know what that is, but there's many of us out there. 
Um, and um, so I really struggled with reactive skin and I was very tentative and scared of, of introducing actives. But equally, I want the performance and I want to, you know, really supercharge my skin care because um, I'm of that age and stage. So um, that's what it's, you know, we really want to sort of show that, you know, actives are not out of your reach if you have sensitivity, but also they can be really high performing. Then the spy actives are never a compromise, but we do really make them sensitively, very considerately. And as you'll come to realise, with real consideration to the environment too. This product really speaks to that from a sustainability point of view. It's a great story. So Sophie, I'm gonna put you out of your, um, your misery uh, and tell you about the name. So it's called C to believe because it's C, vitamin C to believe. So if you've, you've, you know, if there is suspension of belief for you and you've not managed to use vitamin C successfully without irritation, this is the one to believe in. But there's another story. And here, if you see that eye, so the eye is you're seeing, the uh, vitamin C. I'm believing it, but in here you'll see there's a little UFO. And the story here is that um, my son, he has a big poster on his wall in his bedroom and it's a big UFO and it says, I want to believe. So it was a little nod to that and um, showing my age, but I grew up with the X-Files and um, I always remember Mulder had a um, big poster on his wall with the eye and a UFO in the middle. A little nod to that. It's a bit of fun, but we like that. We used to like to have our interruptions have a, you know, some cultural reference in there. It is a cute story, Elaine, isn't it? Um, there's many actually. I think we we have lots of stories to tell about our products, um, and it's always fun to tell them because the, the, you know they sometimes come from unexpected places. So that is what the product is all about. Before I go into demoing it, and before I go into telling you about the kind of the key ingredients in it, because they're very very special and beautiful and beautifully grown and extracted. We've got a new functionality, everybody, on this platform, which we're trying for the first time. So you are all guinea pigs. Um, but please take part and test it with me. Um, it's a poll. So I'm going to ask you a question and you can vote. So I hope, Kate, are we ready? Team, are we ready to, to press go on it? The question I want you to answer is, have you personally ever reacted to a vitamin C product? Yes, let's go. So, I think, I don't know if this is working because I can't see it working, but um, maybe you'll see a poll that you can press. Give me a heart if you are seeing a poll and you've been able to. Oh, okay. I'm taking that as an encouraging sign. I personally can't see it. Yes, you can. Hooray! It's working. The tech is working. So, um, that'll, we'll give us a, I don't know, 10 seconds and then we'll um, publish the results. Um, but some of the team might have to publish it for me because I can't see it. Um, anyway, but um, it'd be really interesting to know because, um, you know, it's always the feedback we, we get and it is why this product's voted. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Um, and Belly. Belly, did I pronounce that right? So, should we get into the product and then I'm going to do a demo. So, this is it. Um, it is a, give me a heart if you've tried it. Um, I'm going to just sort of show it to you and then I'm going to talk about the ingredients and then I'm going to show it on my face. So, I would say... Um, it's a slightly different texture to the current moisturisers in our range. There we go. And it is very light, and it's I would, the words I would describe is silky. Can you see? It's a very very silky texture, but it has a lot of really nice oils and a little bit of mango butter in there, which is going to give it a bit of oomph. If I'm honest, it's going to give that extra sort of nourishment, and I find that it it just gives me. Um, real sort of hydration but sort of nourishment throughout the day um, which is what we is all about isn't it um, so let me tell you a little bit about vitamin C so 63% so far have reacted my goodness gracious me that's well over that's one in two of you there's over one in two of you that's incredible so yes well case in point really that this is the right product that we've created for you I'm delighted to hear it is it okay for, yeah, for dermatitis, so for dermatitis in the cheeks? Yes, it is. Um, there might be a better product for you, though. There might be, I would, um, I would consider the anthemus instead for you. Um, but you can try both, uh, and th there's no reason it, it, it couldn't be a good choice for you. Um, where was I? So I wanted to talk about vitamin C, and I want you to bear with me on this, but if 63% of you, that's a lot, have reacted 
Um, I want to tell you why you're reacting, and I can guarantee it's not the reason you think it is. Controversial. You are not actually reacting to vitamin C. You are reacting to other ingredients that are doing things for that vitamin C to either stabilise it or help it penetrate the skin. And it is what a lot of people don't realise, and I'm going to explain the science to you because I think it, it's really, really important we do that. So the vitamin C we're using is an oil-soluble vitamin C. The vitamin C that the majority of beauty brands use is, in a, is a water-soluble vitamin C, and they are worlds apart. And if you are sensitive, or on the sensitive side, or have easily aggravated skin, you definitely want to use an oil-soluble, for the reasons I will go on to explain. And the, the kind of the key benefits of an oil soluble vitamin C is that it actually penetrates the skin. Helpful. I mean, I'll come on to explain what I mean by that, but it really penetrates the skin. And once it's in the skin, this is slow releasing. So that's great as well for sensitive skin. Um, and it's super stable. So it means that from the first pump to the very last pump, you are getting an absolute controlled dosage of vitamin C. The same from the first to the last, which you cannot, cannot guarantee with this water-soluble vitamin C because it degrades so quickly and so easily. And I was talking to our head of R&D and he was saying if you could see vitamin C on a scale, on a graph, the degradation kind of goes like that very steep curve. So oil-soluble is much better for sensitive and it's just much um, harder working, better penetrating and longer lasting. Water soluble, let's come on to this, it's often called ascorbic acid or um, sodium ascorbyl phosphate. They're the current common two that you will find used in skincare. There is a problem with them and they tend to be the ones with very high percentages on them. They don't, water soluble ingredients cannot penetrate the skin easily. Um, and so you have to throw a lot at it in the hope that something will get in. So you get this huge amount of performance, what I would call performance waste, right? So you're, it's basically throwing vitamin C at a wall and hoping some of it sticks. That's the best analogy I can do this afternoon for you, but it's a good one, right? So it doesn't penetrate, it's very, very unstable. So there's all sorts of mechanisms often manufacturers use to try and keep it stable. Um, one of them is that you have to keep it at a very low pH. So if, so if this was water-soluble vitamin C in here, it's not, but if it was, this whole formula would have to be have a pH of 3.5. Now our skin has a pH of about 5.5, so that's really low and very acidic. So again, if, from a sensitivity point of view, 3.5 is not what you want, but it has to be kept at 3.5, and there's all sorts of regulators in there to make sure it does, to be active and to stay active but not great for you for if you're sensitive. So, I'm sure there's more to say. Yes, there is one more thing to say. So, sorry, this is taking a long time, but it is really important. Um, the reason, if you're one of those people who responded to that poll and said, I do react, the reason is, and very likely, it was a water-soluble vitamin C that you reacted to, and very likely there was a delivery agent ingredient in the blend. And what it does is it helps that water-soluble ingredient that struggles to penetrate to enter more easily. An example ingredient is ethoxydiglycol. Um, there's a lot of controversy about these ingredients because what they do is they kind of open the floodgates so the vitamin C can pile in, but so can everything else, including preservatives, maybe fragrance compounds, many of the ingredients that are in a formula that you don't necessarily want to penetrate the skin too much. And so that is what you're reacting to. Potentially the delivery agent ingredient itself, potentially it's the pH being too low for you, but actually chances are it's the other ingredients in the formula that's, that's being opened up and allowing to get in. And that is the problem. Did you know that? Tell me if you did. Um, it's complicated, but I think it's really important to understand that. So um, lots of um, ingredients coming in, not comedogenic, no. Also patch tested, on sensitive skin independently, not by us, by an independent lab. We do that on all pie products so that we can confidently say this is for sensitive skin. That's the vitamin C. Um, what else is in here? We've got upcycled bilberry. I'm going to talk about the upcycle bit a bit more later, but the bilberry oil is omega-3, omega-6 rich, and these are lovely fatty acids that help form ceramides in our skin. That's the lipids in our skin which are great for skin barrier and supporting the skin barrier. Bilberries are very 
like blueberries, but they are different. So they look very similar. They're slightly smaller. They're much darker, but they are packed full of antioxidants. I can't remember. Someone in the team might remember, but it's, I think it's substantially more antioxidant benefit than a blueberry. Um, beautiful, beautiful ingredients. And that's going to create this added skin nourishment and repair. Um, it's beautiful. So you're in this vitamin C formula. You've got the vitamin C suspended in this beautiful organic formula full of lovely butters and, and oils and it's just gorgeous um right while i get going shall i demo shall we quickly just do some questions i've got a very wobbly stand so apologies if you should, if i shake so it seems like kate you're all over it so um that's really good to know i have oily skin is it better for me to use the skin brightly boost all of this um i think either actually um this would be absolutely fine for an oily skin because it's so light it has got some you know a good oil base but i think you'd be absolutely fine with oily skin um but if you've got if you're in a routine that you love you could you could boost to what you've got um it would be an alternative route but i actually think you'd be fine with it um i have quite a mixed confection um i usually use the pioneer so if that helps you and i can absolutely use this and i've been using it and nothing else for a month um, right, um, Bilberry has four times more antioxidant benefit. Thank you, Kat. Apparently. Yes, that sounds right to me. That does sound right to me. Shall I get going? Because I'm conscious I've been prattling on. So I'm going to start doing a demo for you. Lucky you. Um, uh, so this is very makeshift. So bear it with me because I've got, you know, a bowl here and I'm not obviously near a sink. So I'm going to just do my best. But um, please humour me. Right, so what I'm going to do is show you a lovely little brightening routine. Um, I'm going to start with the Lightwork Cleansing Oil, which, remember, is your free gift. I'm just going to remind you, this is very unfetching, isn't it? I can't actually hear anything either. Um, so this is what you get with any purchase of See to Believe. Um, and it's while stocks last. I didn't, forgot to say that earlier. Um, so it's, you only get it if you buy the new moisturiser, and it is while stocks last, and I know they'll go fast. So um, snooze you lose, and don't don't miss out if you want that. Um, and I'm going to demo this now. Um, while I do that, I am going to talk about upcycled and zero waste because in this formula we have six ingredients, six that are either upcycled or zero waste. So this formula really has so much good intentions and goodness built into it. It's a really sustainable product. Um, thank you for the live demo. Well, you haven't seen it yet, but you might not think that at the end. You might think it was a bit rubbish. But anyway, I don't know if you saw what I did there. I did a couple of pumps. I've got the full size here. Um, this is why I want them home, actually. But anyway, two pumps. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I use it. So this is the best cleanser um, if you have worn mineral SPF or makeup in the grey, um, you can massage it all the way into your eyelashes along the lash line to remove mascara. It's very, very efficient. And I tell you, I don't know if you can see, but it's got lovely, lovely slip. Um, and it just is going to really just easily lift off dirt, grime, makeup very effortlessly. Um, and if you're, if you're a double cleanser, you'd use this one first. A, a nice little tip, if I do this on a Sunday, this is a brightening routine. It's quite nice to do what I call, it's the third eye, they call it. It's a pressure point here. Um, and you can just lean into your into those fingers. And I, it's just lovely. Um, and um, yes, calming. So there we go. So that's it. Right, I'm going to take it off. So normally, I love that cleanser. Thank you, baby story. Um, isn't it divine? It's got um, lots of lovely oils. It's got rosehip in it, hence that beautiful colour. So rosehip full of omegas, 3679, carotenoids, um, really helps brighten the skin. But also you've got in there a lovely, I think it's olive oil for memory. You've got a bit of castor oil, which helps grip the dirt. I think it's sweet almond too. It's a lovely oil blend. It has a little light aroma. So just to, to um, advise on that, I think it's a little bit of jasmine uh but lime but it's, it is subtle now normally you would just rinse this off with water you wouldn't need to cloth at all but i'm just not really by a sink so i'm going to for now for the purpose of today um i'm just going to do this 
Um, can you see? Look at that. That's not dirt, that is makeup. Um, but look how efficient it is, look at that. And that's, um, yeah. Um, but what you'd normally do, because it emulsifies, so I think oil, often oil cleansers can leave, if they don't emulsify, they leave that sort of residue on the skin. I just don't understand, I think it's horrid. Anyway, this doesn't, it tends to emul washes away. So there we go. Cleanse done. Very quick, I'm all about speed. I have two young children and a business to run, so I'm all about speed. Right, I've used, uh, I've used powder forms of vitamin C. Oh gosh, that you have to mix yourself. The problem with that is you have no idea how much you're getting. Um, and yes, hard to regulate yourself. It is very, very hard. And why we, we, we shouldn't make you do the work. So that's the thing I would really say about an oil soluble formula is that you, it's, the dosage is set for you and it's a very, it's a very high, and a very considered dosage, so it's no compromise. It's not like we're just a very diluted version. Now, going in with Virtuous Circle, who has tried this? Doesn't irritate my eyes or leave an oily film, but thank you, baby soy, correct. It does not sting the eyes, and many oil cleansers do. It's also got some nice depth to it and viscosity because of that oil blend. Many oil cleansers, no, in fact, is our single oil cleansers, which makes them quite light and drippy and not great to apply. So now, now I'm going in with the exfoliator. This is one of my absolute top five products. People who know me know that I talk about this all the time. If you are feeling a little blue and a bit down in the dumps and you just, even if you want just a mood booster, this is your friend because it just uplifts you. The Amage Chag Aroma is gorgeous. It's, I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you can see. So that's a gel with tiny jojoba bead suspenders in the formula. They are tiny, they are perfect spheres. They will not scratch the skin or tear the skin cells. If you are using a physical exfoliator, that is incredibly important. Perfect spheres. And actually physical exfoliators, I think, get quite a bad rep, but actually they don't need to. This is a polish, not a scrub. This smells so good. Oh, and all you would do is you do around your nose here. Really good to do along your chin. Sorry, chin and jawline, um, and it's just a very gentle polish. Can you see I'm not applying too much pressure, but you would apply it. So you apply it very importantly. Yes, it is, Paula, okay to use with rosacea because you'll see how gentle it is. And the crucial thing about this formula is that you can bespoke it. So you add what what get, makes the beads move. So you put the gel on, I put it on, I can barely feel them. I'm gonna wet my fingers, so watch this. And then you'll see, can you see that's turning to milk? And the more you, m the water you add, the more it'll emulsify. And the more liquid, the more, more the sort of, the more water here, the more movement you get of the beads. So if you don't want too much movement, you just add a little bit of water. Um, I go a bit harder, but look, can you see? And it just, it just disappears. No, it just turns into a milk, which makes it really easy to wash off. But yeah, as I say, um, I have urticaria, um, and with urticaria you get something called demographism. So if you apply a lot of pressure, or you'll see, I get sort of, um, you can see basically. Um, and hopefully this shows just how gentle it is. I love the beads. Yeah, they are totally sustainable, um, biodegrade, um, live happily in our waterways and oceans. And um, many, many moons ago, we worked with the brilliant Niels Yard and Greenpeace and a few other brands and wrote to the Prime Minister and got plastic microbead banned. Um, so that's something we're very proud of and shows that um, what you can do. Anyway, um, so I'm just removing that. Again, you wouldn't remove it with a cloth. You would just wash it away. Super, super quick and simple. Um, and that's what I'm doing. So... You do want to get all the beads off because you'll feel them later. Um, but yes, I'm doing a little makeshift demo here. I love the tutorials. I'm such a person. I never seem to remember the right steps. Well, do you know what, Raffaella? I would say it's really hard, isn't it? Like, I don't think we make, or, you know, us brands don't always make it very easy. And I think we have a tendency to overcomplicate. So yes, I think um, you're not alone feeling like that. And actually, I would always say keep it simple, but hopefully this has shown you how simple it is and how quick it is. I mean, obviously I'm gassing away, and um, but you hopefully you can see how quick. So I've done lovely exfoliated skin um, and my skin feels soft and smooth. I was looking at this product just earlier 
on the website um, that you're on. And I saw that, I think I calculated that 90% of people who leave a review leave five stars for this. It doesn't surprise me. Someone even said that it made their skin feel like glass. It does. And the thing about this product is um, it, this got me through two stages of newborns when um, I didn't really know what my name was anymore. I was so tired and it just brought my skin back to life and um, because I didn't, I couldn't do multiple steps. But it, because, because of the kind of structure of it, it cleans the skin as well, but it's just gonna give that polish um, and it's gonna help. The importance of doing this from a brightening routine point of view is you want to remove that sort of surface debris and, and dead skin cells and all of those things that can build up. And what will that, that will do is, you don't know, it brightens the complexion but it also lets your other products penetrate more efficiently. So that's the key thing about it. I'm gonna take that off now. Um, so there we go. Um, right, I like to mix the scrub with the cleanser. It's up, interesting. Interesting approach. I quite like it. I'm gonna try that. So that's what I've done next. And then I'm going to try, um, try. I'm going to use the vitamin C. So I'm just going to do two pumps. And I've shown this on my hands, and I'm now going to show it on my face. Now, I'm going to be your nose, and I'm going to tell you what it smells of. So it's very, very subtle. And um, we've got a tiny little bit of lemon myrtle in this formula. And lemon myrtle is not an essential oil form. We're using a CO2 extracted form of it, um, which means that it's a much more complete extraction. It means it's going to stay fresher and have that just linger more in the formula I mean um, for a bit longer but without having to use very much at all you can use a smidgen and it's going to just stay and it isn't it's very much in the sort of the background of the of the aroma you know the aroma is in the background there but it's just lovely it's slightly lemony um, but um, again for sensitive skin you know not having essential oils and having just a tiny bit of that CO2 extract is going to be great for you so there we go How's my skin looking? I think it's looking very bright and glowy. Um, so, um, what about ton tonic before vitamin C? Yes, yes, you are brilliant. You absolutely can do that, and I would ordinary, ordinarily do that, but I forgot to bring one down. Um, glowy, um, I forgot to bring one down with me, but yes, I would often miss, and actually, darn, because I would have demoed normally the oil with it. I forgot. Right. Normally, I would be missing here the century flower. Certainly, possibly before the vitamin C, yes, because you know how much I love to mist before, between steps. It traps and added moisture, but I absolutely, before I apply an oil, I would always mist first. If you don't do this, I can tell you it's life-changing. You'll never go back. And the reason is, is you get the perfect, just misting, you get the perfect application of oil because it will apply more evenly um, and also you then trap in that moisture so you just get that added it's all up in me about um, trapping in moisture at every possibility and opportunity I should say so now I'm going for, with rosehip to get that a colour I don't think this needs any introduction does it um, right I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go to see if I can go and ask, um, ask some of your questions answer some of your questions one two three that's all three drops people that's all you need and this is how i apply it so i pretend i've missed it just imagine right give me a heart if you have this product in your bathroom cabinet okay i have oily combinations so i've avoided misting gabby why have you done that what, what's worrying you about the misting it's great. And also that, um, that um, mist is, yeah, it's really hydrating, but it's, um, it's, really, it's really good for the skin barrier, really calming. Um, it's iconic, Robbie. Yes, it is. Um, so anyway, so look, I've just done that. Again, you've got omega-3679 in there, CO2 extracted, um, hence that incredible purity and quality. Not all rose hips are created equal, and I don't think any others on the market look like this or smell like this. Rose hips should smell peppery and lively. Right, what else? I've got, I've got a competition. I forgot about the competition. I brushed my teeth with rose hip oil. 
Really? My goodness gracious me, you learn something new every day. Um, Gabby, in terms of, oh, are you talking about the mist or the oil, Gabby? Um, oil, you always use at the last stage at night. So I'd, I would, this is an evening routine, but I should say that the moisturizer, vitamin C is great to use in the daytime as well because of its antioxidant benefit. Great to use in the morning. So this is, I'll just show you a routine for brightening. Um, but the mist isn't going to make you shiny at all. Not at all. And actually, I've just been on a plane. I got back at the weekend from a week in the States with work and I misted, misted the whole cabin, actually. Um, but it's lovely. So, uh, right. Okay. Um, let's do the competition quickly because we're already at 31 minutes. Um, I'm supposed to do half an hour. I always get over. Right. Okay. Are you ready for a question? Who wants to win one of the new moisturisers? See to believe. Who wants to win one? Mrs. Fabulous Air Travel, isn't it just? Right. Um, okay. We're giving one away, and it's the first person who gets closest to the number. I don't think there's something you can really look up, or maybe you can. I don't know. So, I'm going to ask a question. Are you ready? And the first person who gets um, closest, Kate, we might have to decide um, how we do that, um, will win one. So, question is, approximately how many tonnes of bio-waste are generated per year in the EU? Yes, I think closest. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that again. Approxim approximately how many tonnes of bio-waste are generated per year in the EU. So I'm gonna let you so you you how many how many tons? So I'm gonna give you a clue. Go big. 1.5 billion, okay. Go lower. <laughs> 250 million. Oh, interesting. Three billion. Too high, too high. 170. Oh. 120. Okay. I think G is closest at the moment. Oh. Mm. No one's quite there yet. Okay. Okay, should we call it? I think we do have someone who was probably closest. And I think it might be Maria. What do you think, Kate? Okay, I'm going to leave it to you. Can't cope with the pressure. Okay, Maria, you got very close. You were the first to get closest. It's actually 86 million tonnes. So, Maria, well done. Um, that's a lot. I'm going to very quickly talk to you about... Um, a little bit about bio waste. Um, I talk I very very quickly, and then I just glossed over it. But I'm going to sort of very quickly talk about the upcycled and zero waste ingredients. And here, there's six of them in there. Bilberry is one of them. Um, upcycled ingredients are when you take waste from often in our case the food industry, and you turn it into something beautiful. As in, not recycled. You're upcycling. So you're taking something and making it more premium. And we are taking from bilberry seeds that are a waste product, we're turning them into beautiful, beautiful oil for skincare. It is magnificent, very fatty acid rich. It is majestic. Um, so we have lots of ingredients in here that are upcycled and we also have ingredients that are zero waste. That's something different when, and the examples in here are camellia oil and mango butter. We're taking something that we're making and we're managing the waste at the end. And in this instance, in those particular examples, we're taking the, any waste that's left from making those ingredients and we're turning it into natural plant fertilizers or natural animal feed. So it's closing the loop um, and really thinking about everything. So six ingredients, um, there's a combination of some almond and plum kernels and bilberry and um, camellia and mango beautiful beautiful ingredients these are these are in their own right absolutely fantastic ingredients it shows what you can do from a sustainability point of view now um and and no compromise wow exactly right and we're, we're super super proud of that 
um, and it's something that we wanted to be thinking about as we introduce new products, that we're doing them as sustainably and conscientiously um, as we possibly can. So we're really proud of that. Thank you very much for the love. Thank you very much for the love for this product already. I know um, we've had, you know, we live and breathe products for years before they actually see the light of day and we never know how they're going to land. And the response over the last week has been absolutely joyous for us as a team. We work so hard. The team work just, they live and breathe this stuff, for, you know, for a really long time. i um, really proud of them. And, and so we never quite know what's going to happen. And the feedback's been just wonderful. So thank you. Um, I wonder if there's anything else to say other than remind you about the promotion. Again, um, you get this free with any purchase of this brand new, beautiful moisturiser, see to believe. Um, it's while stocks last and, and yes, we don't know how long that will be and they do tend to go fast. So if you do want this product that I demoed, um, you know what to do. Um, don't forget our free consultation service. Um, Kate, who's here helping today, um, really leads them and along with Holly and they do an amazing job. So um, completely free, no obligation to buy anything. They'll give you advice on anything. Um, and they're very empathetic here if you're feeling a little bit lost in your skincare or lost with your skin generally and a bit fed up with it. Um, they are um, an empathetic ear um, and a smiley face as well. So I think that is all to say. I, anything I've forgotten, Kate? I'm going to wait. Um, yes, come check with us. Thank you so much for doing these. I feel like I learned so much. Great. Well, that's what it's all about, Gia. Um, Please recap how to use the moisturiser. Just bought it. Brilliant. Okay, really simple. So, um, Ravesh, I would say um, you can use this morning or night. Um, I just demoed a sort of an afternoon, evening routine, but for brightening because it had exfoliation and oil at the end. However, so you can use it at night if you want. I personally use this moisturiser in the morning. And the reason I do that is because of its incredible antioxidant benefit. Vitamin C is one of the most powerful antioxidants in skincare. It does live up to the hype. And it's what that means, it's gonna really help protect against UVA, B damage, um, general free radical damage, you know, from pollution and all of those things. Um, it's not an SPF, very important to say that, but it is going to help just give that protection, really. So for that reason, I would say it's really brilliant to use in the, in the morning, always with SPF on top. So that would be my advice to you. And really just two pumps is all you need um, onto cleansed skin, even better onto misted skin. Thank you. I think it was Belly who said that. Um, good shout there. Um, anything else? Free radicals? Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Right. Thank you so much. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning. It's always a pleasure. Um, and I will see you next time. Take care.